Gratitude is a really important part of my painting process. When I get started on a new piece to paint it, um, I get my canvas. It's already prepped. It has blue edges around it uh, as my signature, the cobalt blue edges. Uh, I get my paint. I get everything together. And then I sit in front of it, crisscross applesauce <laughs> like a little kid. And then I give my gratitude. And I give gratitude to inspiration, to creativity, to the painting itself because it already exists in my mind. Um, th that painting already exists, it's already there. It's in my head and now I have to get it onto canvas. Uh, and, uh, and then I set intention. What do I wanna communicate? What do I wanna, what do I wanna say with this piece? You know? uh, and you know, I never come to a blank canvas. That doesn't exist in my world at all. I come prepared because I feel like if you're not prepared, it's a sign of disrespect. So before I come, even, even for my own art, like I don't come to a, a blank canvas and say, oh, what am I going to paint today? That doesn't happen. There is a lot of work that goes into it before I even start painting. Um, I research the idea. I think about it. I, you know, I sit with it. For, I meditate on it. You know, I work out my composition and colors and textures and messaging. And, you know, what's the true line? What are, what are we trying to say? How does that fit into collection? Like all of those things are worked out, it already exists, it's already there. And then, after I give my gratitude, then I start painting. And oftentimes I remember the beginning, I remember the end, but in the middle it gets a little fuzzy because I start with this intention of what I wanna say and then I let it go. I just let it go and it comes out however it comes out, oftentimes better than what I planned and sometimes I don't remember conscious choices that I made to put this particular thing over here or over there. Uh, and it happened, this, this types of process, like when you get into this flow state and, and you just kind of go with it, you know, it goes very fast. Uh, I can finish a piece in, in a session, like an hour, a couple of hours, maybe an afternoon, but not more than that. And I remember with Indra's Net, for example, it was very much like that. And I had, um, I had shown it to a few people a few different people uh, after I was done with it. And what was really interesting is that they saw, this is an abstract, right? So people see what they see, but different people saw the same thing. What was interesting about it is that I didn't, even though I made it, I didn't see all of those intricacies and, and different things that they saw. Multiple people said the same thing. And then I thought, oh, this is such a great, interpretation of Indra's net of, of that Buddhist story that um, I was like, this is even better than what I had in mind. What I had in mind was a Calabiao manifold, you know, so from quantum physics, right? But it, it was even better than what I expected it to be, you know, a better interpretation of the message if, if you just let it go, you know, and I think it's really important to set intention in everything that we do. Set intention, be grateful, and then just let it happen. Just let it unfold, surrender to it. So gratitude is most definitely an intention, a very big part of my painting process.